love to travel by vehicle. We're looking for a car, but on another continent. And we all need to get there to South America. I got a dollar. it to Colombia and we are on the hunt for a new home a car buying a car in Colombia is very challenging and complicated why uh, what would be your guys's budget what are you guys looking for I could also give you my aunt's what's up for when you guys are over there to help with the process and that way maybe she can be there that way nobody tries to scam you guys or anything like that we need to not get ripped off learn how to drive standard, the process of buying a car, all the while, this is not our first language. It's official. Gracias. We love this idea because we want to drive this rig from Colombia to Argentina, a trip we were once on, but more on that later. This week, we are going to buy a car, live in it, and adventure into the Colombian jungle. We have no idea how this is going to pan out, but we know it's gonna be fun. It all starts with the Colombian Craigslist. A first Toyota, the Land Cruiser, a 1976 with 395,000 kilometers, which is spooky, but it's diesel, so not so spooky. <laughs> it's a vibe, really. Just had body work, but that also scares us. What are you hiding, sir? A Mitsubishi Montero, 1994, so I'd say we should pick it as we are born in the same year. We really do love this one, but it's currently missing some paperwork, and that could be very bad. Cute little white van, person, was a no show. They said they could meet in five days. Little blue, but it just sold. After talking with our friends and we learned quite a bit. Like negotiate the price, buy directly from the owner, revise and make sure all paperwork checks out like the ownership and the soat and then transfer the car. We're feeling ready to go to the dealership. Looks like we're getting pulled over. Que tal Colombia? Bien. Routine check. And that would happen and it would not be good if we didn't have all of our papers. Like that last car doesn't have all of its papers, but they did say they're going to get them for us. Can I buy this? Oh yeah. Colombia has some of the coolest cars. How can you not want a Colombian car? Oh yeah. Also, I go. Up next, the car dealership. If you can hear me over all that afternoon traffic, we have quite a few vehicles in here that I have got my eye on. And I think it should be an easier process when it comes to paperwork and all of that, because I hear the mechanics working away in there. So I bet you we can find something that should take us to some pretty good places. I hope. We really don't know what we're gonna find. Oh, hola. Hola. Oh, it's comfy. Probably a bit out of our budget, that one. Yeah, it does look nice. Oh, oh, Chris, come here. Hello, looks like it might need work. Something's leaking under there, unless it's old. Very well, it could be old. <laughs> this is sick. That is a nice rig. This is probably as old as me, I like it. We took ourselves on a self-guided tour through the used dealership as the owner was on lunch. So we grabbed lunch ourselves and texted the salesperson the cars we were interested in. Fingers crossed. Toured the streets of Cartagena and had our first Colombian coffee. We just got a coffee maker for hopefully our new home. New home. <laughs> <laughs> End of day one, finding a new home in Colombia. I wish I could tell you that I feel like we will find one and be driving out of here tonight, but I just don't quite confidently feel that's the case. We will definitely <laughs> not be driving out of here tonight, but I am still hopeful we may find a home. I am really in love with the Mitsubishi one. The one that doesn't have the papers, everyone. <laughs> and it's kind of confusing why it doesn't and if we will have them or what's gonna happen. If it doesn't have papers, sometimes the reason is because then no insurance companies want to insure it for a valid reason. Toyota, love it, but 400,000 kilometers. It's seen the world. And will it wanna do it a second time? The dealership, on the other hand, still hasn't got back to us. 
for one day, I've learned a lot about what it means and how to buy a vehicle in Colombia. Retweet. A lot. And we've learned a lot of lingo and we now know what is necessary and how to avoid getting scammed. Kind of. You kind can still of. get scammed. <laughs> yeah. I have to say though, I'm very proud of you with your Spanish. Thank you. It's a whole you new- You too. But this is very fun and it does get me excited. We do have some good news though. We have a text from Mitsubishi. I can never say that word. Why am I buying this vehicle? Tell them the metaphor that Chicago used for you. I call them Chicago because that's where they're originally from. Um, key to Cartagena, be like the palm trees. Near the beach, flexible and capable to resist the ebb and flow of extreme conditions. Unlike the rigid trees that are unable to do it and thus crack in half. We need to be patient. They confirmed that they ordered the SOAT or the SOAT and it will be activated by tomorrow. I mean, that, if it's true, is like the best news. Everyone cross your fingers. Welcome to our home. Well, we look for a home, everyone. Bedroom, huge window. Kitchen. People are hanging from the roof. <laughs> if you're a little confused on why we're buying a rig in Colombia, we used to be a travel channel. Believe we did. It. <laughs> <laughs> However, full-time travel isn't an option right now. So buying a rig in South America on a different continent is our solution due to having responsibilities at home, like our homestead and most importantly, our two fluffy companions that we miss so much. And what we've learned is, is you can store any vehicle here in South America and come back to it. There's a place here. We've already figured that part out. That's the easy part. The hard part is getting the rig. More on that soon, because it's really out of our hands now. But we also have a temporary solution. Should we start going? Chug the coffee? I'm excited. And if this still isn't making sense to you, Jasmine and I are lovers of not just travel, but traveling by vehicle. A few years ago, we DIY'd a Sprinter van with the ambition to travel from Canada to Argentina. Just in case you missed the construction noises from our cabin videos. Which is a multi-year road trip. We were on the road for a full year and made it to Guatemala. But then the panty happened and we had to go back home. This is the darkest tint ever. <laughs> Where am I right now? Can you even see me? I think we'll have to do this to our rig. We are here. That's yes. We've always dreamed of still doing the trek from Canada to Argentina. While we wait for our five vehicles to check out, we are going to travel Colombia in a car. Meet Duster. That's our bed. I cannot wait to try car camping in Colombia. It feels so good to have a vehicle that we can get around and see this beautiful country. Now I can knock off van, truck, and car. Cannot wait. All right, Crystal. All right. You're driving the streets of Colombia. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, oh already getting honked no. at. <laughs> be aggressive, be, be aggressive. It's such a different way of seeing a country and now that we've done it, in the past and so many times over the years, there is simply no other way for us to adventure. You really just expand your kilometers. When you don't have a car, you can go as far as like a local bus or local Ubers will take you. But when you have a car, you can really drive. It's kind of like when you're a kid, you grow up and you can only go like up and down your driveway, then you get a bike, now you can go around the block. And then when you're 16, you can drive your guardian's car and your world just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Caring for our microbiome doesn't stop when we leave the cabin. Out here on the road, I've got my seed in my travel case. That is bacteria, baby. There is billions of billions of bacteria in these prebiotic and probiotic 53.6 billion AFU to be exact, which support overall health, not just with your gut and regularity, but all of these things are so interconnected. 
you didn't hear that, she was just letting you know that her poops are better. Much better. I've actually struggled from a young age. With her poops. <laughs> and although we often think that bacteria are scary, they are essential to our health. And even more so when we're out here traveling, I'm so happy to have this with us because we are in a new environment and consuming new things. Why do I need bacteria? Well, with two capsules a day of Seeds DSO-1, you can experience digestive benefits like bloat relief, regularity, you know, like bowel movement, consistency, the thing no one wants to talk about that feels so damn good. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than a good poop. I'll say the word. <laughs> and all of the things that are connected to your gut, such as skin health and heart health. There is a two-in-one capsule technology in here, and they're offering you 25% off your first jar using code VANWIVES25. Click the link in the description and keep that gut healthy. Oh my God. In Colombia, it is an option. She stopped at a stop sign. It's quite freaky sometimes. So you really have to be alert. Chris just did that. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> And also, there are driving stipulations here. Depending on your license plate, you can drive at certain times in certain cities only. So with this car, on Thursday, we can't drive in the Centro. And how we know that is obviously who we rented the car from, but the app called Waze, which is super helpful because without that app, you wouldn't know. You put in your license plate and it really tells you what route you can take which has been super helpful because we are going into the busy area of the city of Cartagena right now as we are going to need some camping supplies. Should we ask our parking neighbor if they're selling their rig? We do love those Toyota Land Cruisers. I also just want to say that the first time driving in Colombia was quite a success. It's because you're seasoned. I actually thought I was going to be a lot more stressed out, but we're here. Do it. We just found the jackpot of all jackpots. Gelato. Camping. We had no idea if we'd be able to find any of this type of gear here. It's not easy to come by, but I think we've just found the jackpot. We love going to local grocery shops. Grab a big bag of coffee. Let's check out the fresh fruit. If you've never had a Grenadilla, this is your sign to go find one and eat the best fruit ever. All right, that much closer to hitting the road, everyone. All we need is a propane tank, and then we are ready to set off far, far away from the city. Let's just hope we can find a propane tank because that's the start of making Crystal the happiest camper. <laughs> this is Columbia. Oh yeah. Motorbikes. We're leaving Cartagena and we're driving northeast to some rural areas. Also, just a quick little update on our cars. And um, just trying to be as cool as a palm tree over here. <laughs> I hope you're all being palm trees as well. They are at the Mechanicos. We've been out of the city for probably two minutes and it's already just so calm. So beautiful. I have to remember the car camping. We do not have a bathroom in it. So when you have to go, you need to pull over. And this is what a typical bathroom looks like when you do pull over. The door is not going to lock on me. We got lots of puddles here. Your sink, your bucket, to flush. And I guess this is to wash your hands as well. And there's no toilet paper. I forgot to bring my own. Oh, I had to. I know we have some, but I, I'm out of the travel game, you know? <laughs> we've been driving for about two hours, and we've driven all through the countryside, and every once in a while you roll through one of these small towns, and Jazz and I were just saying, like, everyone's outside, just in the fresh air, fully present, chatting, laughing, eating dinner. It's just like such a different world. Do you think this is what they call a rush hour? 100%. Okay, as you can see, it's now nighttime. We just got stuck in rush hour traffic for about over an hour. So we are now headed right into Santa Marta and we're gonna lay our heads, heads down here tonight um, because 
the camp spot we want to go to is a little bit further out still and honestly it's not quite worth it not knowing exactly where we are going what the roads are like imagine all of a sudden it was just mountainous and i want our first car camping experience to be documented and it's not going to be tonight so don't worry we're not car camping without you also yeah we learned a lot in our in our overlanding days and we have rules and this is one of our rules. We're kind of breaking it right now. We're not supposed to be driving at night. So um, it's all coming back to us, you know? Luckily, the town is literally five minutes and there are plenty of places to sleep. Good, Good driving. Night. Good <laughs> driving today. Our first fill up in the duster is happening in Colombia right now. We are getting Lleno Corriente, which means full tank of gasolina. And fun fact, it is Colombia's oldest city where we are right now. Looks like the gasolina handle is red here. Are we there yet? <laughs> Parking lot is empty. Oh, almost for the first ones. Little motorbike sped ahead. <laughs> it's a party everywhere you go, everyone. A party. Do you see them even? No, I can only hear the birds. This is the medical insurance. From what I read, you need it. I think it's like $1. Okay, we've got our medical insurance, even though we already got it, but... <laughs> uh, look at the jungle, everyone. I don't want to speak too early, but I do feel as though we could have a... We're the first ones here dance. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hola. Buenos dias. Woo! We're really gonna be the first ones to the beach, everyone. Woo! <laughs> Worth it. Welcome to Tyrone at National Park. We paid a whole 27 cop, which is literally just over $20. And I believe they're charging like, I think 50 a person or more. Let's see your first one on the beach dance. Oh! <laughs> This is the first beach of the entrance and you can actually hike all the way around here, which is super cool. And you just live in a tent on each beach. It's been a while. We have made it from all the way down here to right here. This beach is so pretty. <laughs> All right, a little appreciation for the breezy area. Holy smokes. Thank goodness. It is truly the perfect combination of sunshine, ocean sounds. We just want to flow. So nice. It is quite salty. We just want to flow. All right, y'all. It's important to limit your sun time. I'm burning. Look at how busy it is down there. And then, bam. No one. However, I do have to say, this looks fun. And because you can't camp here, we have a beautiful camp in mind, and we'll see you all there. Introducing Duster Wives. <laughs> I didn't think much of it. You know, all the signs about the animals that you can see when you're here while we were driving. But now that we're parked, thinking a lot about those cheetahs and those spiders and those snakes. What about those snakes in this long grass that you're freaking out about? Yeah, you know, all those little guys, our friends tonight. Okay, 
time to set up our new home. Step one to car camping. Move all your belongings to the front. Okay, ready? Step two, hopefully the seats go flat. Slight angle tonight? <laughs> Turns out they don't go flat. Mattress one. How is it? I don't really fit. Oh, great. It's gonna sleep a little on an angle if you don't mind. Blanket. Pillow. I can't help but take in that it is nothing but nature and the waves. First impressions of car camping? You have everything you need and not anything else. <laughs> 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 Saw my first friend. Hey, Millie. Oh, where are you going? That thing looks small, but it's about the size of a chapstick, and I know that that's on the smaller scale of the, the millipedes, centipedes. I love just pulling up to these random, beautiful places and having no idea what kind of adventure is in store for us. You can see here, there is like an opening right here. We had to park right here because there are coconuts falling from the palm trees and you wouldn't want one of those to hit you in the head. This is duster wives, but in the palm woods. We're, we're in a different, different type of woods out here. Our second creature, can you hear it? Is a wild parrot. It's blue and yellow, and it does not want to stop talking to us. So cool to see one of those in the wild. Crystal's obviously off chasing it. Everyone write in the comments. Thank you, Crystal Birdwatcher. I spent the last half an hour chasing this parrot. First parrot I've ever seen in my entire life. Loud and beautiful, as they should be. <laughs> Kitchen and dining room. <laughs> Got a big old pot of water, and it turns out a local around here is nice enough to heat it up for us. That means we're gonna have dinner tonight. <laughs> tonight we are having camp meals, Indian lentil stew, and Irish shepherd's pie. And to be honest, I'm very, 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 very grateful that I just brought these in my bag because if I didn't, I mean, we'd be snacking on some crackers or some cookies or something, but we couldn't find propane that works for our stove. So thank gosh, it's as simple as a bag and some water tonight. Okay, now she's gotta be stirred. What's up, big fella? <laughs> dinner is ready. And I don't mean my dinner. I mean the no seams and the mosquitoes dinner. <laughs> me! <laughs> oh yeah, there's one just eating me right now. Get it up here. Blood, everything. We're closing the back. We're not. I'm not. We should have discussed this. I'm having this. a snake slither in here while I'm sleeping. It strangle me dead, you wake up. That's not gonna- Widowed. But not boiling to death. Spooky stories at night. That's good. I just had a sun-dried tomato in a bag. That was delicious. I would eat it again. It was that good. Like if you were at home? Yeah. Like with a full <laughs> kitchen? Yeah, what do you get? Spicy. We should have these when we build. We'd get so much protein. And flavorful. And yeah, full of protein, baby. Mm -hmm. And eating in the dark is funny because you never know what's going to be on your bite. Nighttime routine. Back to the baby wipe showers. This is living in a car. We're all good. It's the little, 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 little things in here that feel so good. I don't think brushing my teeth has ever felt this good before. Yeah, brushing your teeth, wet wiping your face and your arms. My feet even. Your feet. A little bag dinner. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Just a wee bit tight. And yes, crystal one. Back door is shut. <laughs> before we fall asleep, take a minute to listen to the waves. And if only I could show you those stars. It's really nice. Well, it's putting you to sleep, eh? It's the perfect way to fall asleep. And it's absolutely raging and roaring. And the stars are out. And everything is alive. And you're going out soon, too. <sighs> oh. Okay. It's not that bad. Nighty night. Good night, honey. Made it through the night. It was as eventful as tossing and turning. <laughs> we we're on the other side of the car. What? We flipped around. Oh yeah, we did flip around, that's right. Our heads are down here now. Okay, a little more shut eye.
birds. They're everywhere. Oh, they might come in the car. Six o'clock. You wake early when you're in a vehicle, I think. Yeah, it's like tempting. Oh. Oh. Time to clean up the house. Hey, 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 hey!